It's been a bit stressful starting on Monday having the moon be in Virgo because that means that on an emotional level we are so hyper fixated on details that anything that is out of alignment in any way is going to cause us a much higher degree of distress than it would usually. So knowing that you're a wee bit irritable is a good way to kind of create a little bit of a buffer zone and maybe just don't take yourself too seriously today. While the moon has been in Virgo, there is a focus on making sure that things are in order. So it's a really good energy to apply towards work. Now, anything that we have to take care of, we're definitely going to have attention to details and be a lot more thorough in our application of our skills. And then today the moon moves into Libra getting ready for the new moon solar eclipse on Wednesday. I'm sorry I had to censor the top here. It is a cool, really awesome card with old style art, um, but we wanna make sure that I don't get censored. So when the moon is in Libra, there is a higher need for co-regulation. Now, co-regulation is a word given to the biological process that happens within our brains that allows us to calm down and come out of any agitated state if we have the ability to be a around another calm individual. We are able to experience co-regulation um, when we hug somebody when we seek out comfort, when we can have a, a really heart-to-heart -heart level kind of conversation, we are able to achieve co-regulation because it feels as though, you know, the moon, which represents our emotions, our emotions are held in some sort of harmonious or safe space. So don't be afraid to, you know, talk about how you're feeling, um, bringing through any kind of emotions that you're experiencing will allow you to see them a little bit better and work with them on a higher level. Today's card is the star, which is a really beautiful card in the tarot. It represents emotional release, how she's pouring out these pitchers of water here. And through emotional release, we often find connection to spirit. We often find divine intervention or healing just on a really deep soul level. This card is about healing on a deep level, and as we pour out our emotions, we're able to experience reflections that help us better understand what it is, not only that we're dealing with, but maybe what to do about it as well. So today, I hope you find peace. I hope you find harmony, and I hope you're able to co-regulate with someone in a way that helps you kind of gain some sort of calm acceptance and see clearly what your next best steps are. Thanks for being here. I'm Erin. I'm Queen Bee Tarot. I've got full-length videos on my YouTube channel. Come back every day for your daily tarot and astrology, and I will see you tomorrow.